to tutorial 11 on Windows and Windows styles. It'll be split into three parts because there's a, a lot to cover, but much of it will follow through into tutorial 12 on doors. We had a look at the issue of the reveals uh, when a window is inserted into a wall in the last lesson, and with a little research um, we've come up with some uh, uh, more information on that, which we'll go through now. You can see at least in 2D top plan view the exterior wall finishes have been returned into the reveal. Why haven't I done that with the internal? And this is a, a actually a drawback of my having put in that skirting tile. If you remember there is my slate skirting tile, in this case the windowsill comes down to the floor level but in your object info palette window and wall um, one of the available parameters is this external wall detail. Now here I've returned three components, well because there are three external finishes components um, um, although okay you remember it was timber cladding then battens then 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 blue render um, uh, and it's a bit unsatisfactory. I don't. If, uh, we, we, we weren't using the timber cladding, but here we are. Um, I have to have it on because if I don't, I get this weird result. So I have to have it on. Um, so okay, let's assume that the timber cladding does return. It can, in another world, we'll delete that timber cladding and just have the render. You can see that that works in plan. It gives you this control point, which adjusts what the, what Vectorworks calls the wrap point. Um, if I then apply the same to the internal wall detail, and we'll demonstrate it here. So let's look at the internal wall detail, um, and you'll see there are two finishes components, one of which is the skirting. Okay, so I have to return two. Okay, so it does that, and of course the skirting isn't going to return into into the um, into the reveal. Actually, having said that, of course in this case it will because because um, because the sill happens to be happens to be um, near floor level. I mean, okay, so if I change that, does it does it make any difference? Well, uh, elevation of the window head. You know, if I raise that up to two four doesn't make any difference. It's still going to show in 2D plan that the skirting is returning into the reveal, which is not. Okay, so we'll undo that. But the biggest drawback actually is that this doesn't work in 3D. Um, the reveal doesn't doesn't cap, the, or rather the wall doesn't create a wall cap for the reveal. No matter what it looks like in 2D plan, it's not happening. Yeah, you can play around with if you want to see it more dramatically then um, go to that um, exterior wall data and give it a splay oh, sorry I've got, I've got my I've got external shutters switched on um, which uh, are in a class called fittings shutters okay let's get rid of those and you can see even with a splay it doesn't do it and if you were then with the splay to use the wall depth for um, for the jam, uh, it doesn't follow the display. So you know, uh, look, there we go. There we are. You know, so it's obviously not. It's obviously, it's not working. If you're using Vectorworks 2020, uh, um, it, they may have solved some of these issues. But um, for the rest of us, you know, it's one of the drawbacks, limitations of the plugins. I'm not. I'm not going to use the display, much as I would like to. Um, um, I'd have to I'd have to adapt it. Um, now this window, so this window I've 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 used the external wall detail, and this window I haven't. And the other thing you'll notice here, this window doesn't actually work. I mean, of course that jam isn't going to be like that, is it? Um, let's face it. Um, and um, you know, in fact, quite honestly, I need I need the jam to be two hundred, so that's wrong anyway. But I've never seen a window. No window works like that, does it? I mean, it's got to have a um, it, it's got to have a, a rebate in the frame or the jam to make the window work. So 
we're getting an adumbrated uh, architectural um, interpretation which will not stand up uh, to detailed design um, and of course when it comes to detailed design um, you may want to be able to switch off some of these things and simply draw them correctly into D in the annotations viewport and invariably that's what we do so if that was in the annotations viewport I'd turn off the window frame um, and uh, any other um, uh, funny bits I mean, you know, this glazing thing, okay, it may have a bead or whatever. This window, by the way, is a passive house window, so that's 30 millimeter thick glazing, the pink stuff, triple glazed, argon filled. Um, so, in fact, yeah, you know, let me just let me just change that because um, because even that's wrong. Um, my jam depth needs to be 200 because it's. Yeah, we'd have an insulated cavity closer um, proprietary instead of what is it at the moment so I'm adding 65 uh, so I need to change the offset to subtract minus 27.5 oh there we go right so it's now aligned with the cavity insulation um, and you can see actually that these control points have now changed, or have rather not changed. Um, so when I click on that, actually the, the 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 internal reveal wants to do that. Thank you, and the external reveal simply wants to do that. Okay, right. So you know that's about that's as good as it gets uh, using the plugin. Um, whoops, and of course no window is going to open like that. So let us. Uh, make the sash offset 32.5 and we go into here uh, and there's a sash offset so increase the sash offset 32.5 plus 32.5 and that does it right so there's you know that's the hinges will now work so it's a single it's a single side hung casement okay um, that's as good as it's going to get um, but it is an abbreviation of an architectural detail and so we have to draw these details as I say in good old 2D in your annotations pane of your viewport and you simply draw over it um, and you will probably add um, you know sealants there'll be a bit there'll be a bit of there'll be a bit of sealant in here um, uh, so you know there'll be a bit of sealant there. And I have a class called Detail, with all my D layers, as you know, um, and in fact a detail of seals. So um, you know, so you need to add those things in there for construction, okay? And those will be your construction details. But so this is a base, okay? It's a base. It's a base. In fact, the entire Vectorworks interface. Uh, is a base for a model you know I mean some people have asked on the um, uh, vector work community oh can we have intumescent strips in the doors and you know extra I know mean, for heaven's sake it, it's it, it in terms of BIM this is a level of detail L O D um, and the next thing they'll be asking for uh, you know brush seals and they'll even want the paint to be shown. I mean, for heaven's sake, you know, it's 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 a level of detail, um, which is perfectly adequate for our purposes, was to give the schematic visual of the model, and that's fine. I mean, the biggest bugbear is that it won't make reveals. So we've got this unfinished block work showing, which isn't very nice. And I mentioned the last time, um, there is a way of doing that, which I'm going to show you um, um, in a short while. Um, how you, it's a little laborious, but it does it. But it relies on then making this window into a symbol. In fact, as, as they used to be, <laughs> way back in Minicad 5, um, you'd make a symbol. 
um, um, which inserted in the wall uh, and you'd, you'd model the window yourself. Uh, and the advantage of this Windows and Doors plugin is that it comes uh, um, kitted out with its own database which then generates your window schedules very easily um, and, and very nicely um, and it's all part of the BIM um, encoding um, so woe betide anyone that would want to recreate that um, because you, you know you can't attach the IFC data if you do it yourself I mean you could but it'd be an absolute bore um, so um, data, you know, it's already here. Um, there is default IFC window. IFC window, uh, property set door, window glazing type, property set window common, um, window style, window lining, blah, 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 blah. Um, and if, you know, you can look at what the, how the IFC data works. But it's the IFC data that is bundled with the IFC export. And it goes into Kobe, spreadsheets, and all the rest of it. Um, and so we need to use this plugin. And I'll show you how uh, we can do that. Um, and um, get these um, finishes to return in the reveals. Um, so, you'll notice the sill has a concrete finish and the window frame and the window sash and in fact the window glazing oh, it seems to be switched off uh, you know it's not um, front view, there we go um, and uh, see, curiously there is a there's a, there's a parameter that isn't revealed in the kind of shortcut quick list of the um, of the um, of the object info palette, and you do have to go into the big daddy dialog box to to get that. Um, um, and that's what we're going to do now. Notably, the sill. Um, yeah. There's no parameter. There are parameters. We'll see them in a minute. It doesn't give you any options. Just masonry, timber, or brick, and it doesn't give you any of the any of the um, parameters to create that sill. You see, it's projecting 50, actually 65 millimeters from the external finish, accordance with British standards, uh, and it will have a throated drip. I mean, for heaven's sake, you know, you know you're going to want to have a throated drip in your in your in your plugin settings, I mean, you'll be looking at the plugin settings all day long. Um, uh, uh, so, you know, it, you've just got to accept the model is not construction details. I think we have to just live with that. And why not? If it were, it would be gigabytes, it would be terabytes. So let's look at the settings. Okay, the first thing to notice is the use style is unstyled. First of all, general. Okay, there's a bunch of parameters here. I'm sure you've got the hang of it. And here's the previews, and you can change those. You know, but we're going to look at sills. Um, sorry for the background noise if you're hearing that. It's just a bit of overheating. 2D visualization. Now, don't draw the wall lines because you just get lines where the wall is underneath the sill, unless you want to do them in dotted. Um, in which case, yeah, you could use window dotted. So here are the classes. Now this is really laborious and really important. Um, um, for the 2D visualization, essentially what it's saying is that this is what you're going to see in 2D, but in 3D it's this, the classes, right? Okay, so I've got a class, window main is default. Window main is the Vectorworks default class, uh, which is actually the window class, because this window is inserted into, here we are, window main, right? It's a default class. Mm -hmm.